Hi, welcome back. All right, so now we're going to look at LS and what it can do for us. So you can tell, a little review, uh, first of all, where are we at this point? Well, we can print working directory to find out where we are. Uh, and we see that I've changed us to the root directory. And I've gotten there how? Well, from the home directory, I would just type cd space forward slash. And that would get us back to the root directory or down to the root directory, if you will. We can also tell that just by looking at the prompt. But if your prompt is configured differently, uh, if your prompt is configured not to show the working directory as mine is, then you may have a problem knowing where you are and you would have to print the working directory. Usually we set up prompts in Linux to show the working directory. We may show other information, but we would also show the working directory. All right, so we are at root. What if we want to see the contents of the root directory? Well, we can do that by typing ls. So ls lists the contents of the current working directory, ls for list. And that's a review. Uh, we have a couple of differences here. Uh, we have some different colors. We have some directories uh, that uh, start with lowercase letters, and there's a lot of them. We're going to be talking about most of them in this course. But I changed to the root directory because there's more files at the root directory for what I'm about to do. So I can get detailed information by typing ls and then space and then passing in a command line switch. And the command line switch I'm interested for detailed information is dash l. So this is list in long format, if you will. And this will give us a lot of information. Over here, we see the name of the directory or file or whatever it is. Uh, we can also see uh, when the file was created. We can see some more information like who owns it, who's using it, uh, the, uh, uh, some other information, the size of the file. But over here, notice what we see. We see that there are a total of 96 files or things under ls. And then we see a long string of information here. Now, the rwx, 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 or r-x, or whatever, this part, uh, the last part, all everything except for the first letter, tells us what the various permissions are on that particular file or directory or whatever it is. We'll be talking about that later. But the first letter tells us what the entry actually is. If that letter is a D, it's a directory. So even if you don't have a nice colorized prompt as I do, you can still tell by using ls-l what every entry in a directory is. So if it's a D, it's a directory. If it is uh, not a D, uh, if it's a dash, and we need to find one of those, but I can't show you one of those now because we're at the uh, working, we're at the root prompt. Uh, but let's just change to bin here, uh, cd bin, and do ls l. Uh, we can see a bunch of entries here that are files, and we see that they start with a dash, and those are files. So if it has a d, it's a directory. If it has nothing or just a dash, it's a file. If it has an L, it's a link. It's a symbolic link to some other location. That could either be a file or a directory someplace else on the system. Links are a convenience to allow us to link to a directory or a file. In other words, give it an alias from this particular location to another or as an alias to uh, rename something to some other name. Uh, we'll be talking about that as well a little bit later. It tells us in the case of a link what we are actually linking to. So DNS domain name in this location here, or in this case, links to something called hostname. Domain name also links to something called hostname. So let's get out of bin. It's a dangerous place to be especially if you know how to delete files or change them. So we'll get out of bin. Uh, cd dot dot will take us up one level. We could also have just typed cd space forward slash. That would take us up one level as well. So we know that ls with an l gives us detailed information.
Now, we are seeing only the visible files. If we want to see the hidden files of a directory, uh, we could, for example, change back to root, or change back home, and now if we print working directory, we see that I'm at home, Rick. Uh, we could type, if we wanted to see everything, we could just type ls and see what we saw in the last demo. We can type ls l and get detailed information about what we're seeing in the ls command. Or we could type ls dash a and ls a is going to show us everything in the directory. And if you look at this and the difference between this command, which is just ls and lsa, First of all, we see everything that we saw in ls, but then we see a bunch of stuff that starts with a dot printed out as well. And the stuff that starts with a dot is hidden. So we can see our hidden files. The A switch stands for all, so we're listing all. We can combine the A switch with the L switch. We could just say ls dash A space dash L and that would be one way to do it and we'll see everything uh, all the dot files as well in long listing format we can also combine them uh, all in one step maybe ls dash la and that would combine both of those switches actually it doesn't yes it did yeah it did so uh, that would combine both of those uh, the order of the switches ls dash al We'll do the same thing, uh, so we can see AL and LA do the same thing. In other words, we can combine those command line switches in any way we want. So that's all I'm going to talk about as far as command line switches for the list command, because that will tell us what is a directory, what is a file, what is a symbolic link. It will tell us how to find hidden files and folders with the A command, and with the L switch, it gives us uh, uh, detailed information about the file. So for instance, as we're looking at ls-la or al, uh, we can see that the .cache file, uh, that's a directory. The, uh, uh, let's see, the .bashrc.backup file, for instance, that's a file. Uh, and we don't have any symbolic links at the root of the user directory. We can also see, for instance, if we use LA, uh, or I'm sorry, LS-A, we see dot and dot dot. Dot is the current working directory. Dot dot is the working directory's parent directory. And I referred to those two back in the last demo. Thank you very much.